It's a warm, humid evening in Jefferson County, Alabama. Jesus lives forever. He's alive. Resident Nikki Gamble warms up her singing voice on the way to her local church. There's words severe storms may be coming, but Nikki and most people here aren't concerned. It's not enough for us to stop going to work or church or ball games or anything else. And no more than um, uh, people in Los Angeles would move because it's they're sitting on the fault. We just, well, you have to go on with your life because this is where we live. But that philosophy is about to be challenged with a deadly demonstration. What Nikki doesn't realize is this is no ordinary year in the American South. The jet stream, tracking far more south than usual, has already brought a swarm of devastating pre-season tornadoes to a central Florida town. Security cameras in a local supermarket there record shoppers running for cover as the 200 mile per hour winds roar in. People are killed in these February twisters. An early warning of things to come. In Alabama, Nikki and the church group begin rehearsal. Thunderclouds rumble in. But this is no ordinary storm. The jet stream's southward detour is allowing cold northern air to clash with warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. Weather really breaks out when you have uh, air of different contrasting characteristics coming together. Climatologist David Phillips says that creates the perfect conditions for devastating storms and possibly tornadoes. The jet stream, these strong winds that can come in at different directions than the, than the surface winds, can sometimes be the, the, the necessary spin or twist. As Nikki and her friends continue to practice, there's growing concern at the local weather office over the incoming storm. It was uh, uh, an impatient tenseness, you might say. Local meteorologist Brian Peters scours radar images of the approaching thunderstorm cell. By now, the warm spring temperatures have plummeted. The wind has reversed suddenly. What we knew is we were in for some severe weather later in the day and into the night. I bet they're going to be over, look at that, over 40 knots. At the Open Door Church, the choir is oblivious to the weather outside. Why was that put on his head? In another room, children gather for Bible lessons. Then, the growing storm begins setting off alarms at the weather office. All of the storms we were seeing on the radar had the potential of producing tremendous damage and possibly deaths. With all signs pointing to the formation of tornadoes, Peters makes the call to send out an alert. We had to get the word out as fast as we possibly could. Let's go for a warning on, uh, for Jefferson County, all right? Let's go for a warning on Jefferson County. As the music continues to reverberate at the church, the group is unaware that a monster tornado is about to bear down on them. Others are alerted by local TV. There's the hook. I mean, this is just classic, and this could be a large tornado uh, as it moves into western Jefferson County. Uh, so again, we just stress a sense of urgency here for those of you in these communities to go to a safe place immediately. Don't wait on this. As word spreads, a phone call finally alerts church members. We left from the stage area at that time and all filed into the hallway, as did all of the other people from the classes. All the classes dispersed. But 
the children were saying, now let's do like we do in school, like the teachers tell us to do for a tornado. Everybody uh, sits down with their back to the wall in the hallway. And then I heard it. It was the freight train sound that everybody talks about. As the sound grows louder, church members hear the crashes of nearby buildings being ripped apart. They know they will be next. I remember thinking that I was going to die. Next, the congregation braces as the tornado tears apart their church. contribution room in your RSB. The Scotia RSB Ketchup Loan offers loans of up to $50,000 because Elaine Ellinger is still planning on going places when she's retired. Clean caked on mud with paper towel? Now you can! Introducing new extra durable bounty. It lets you do more than you ever thought possible with a paper towel. Just look how unlike the leading ordinary 9-inch brand, new extra durable Bounty holds together to tackle this tough job. So go ahead and Bounty up those grimy bathtubs, baked on messes, nasty spills, and all kinds of messy jobs with new extra durable Bounty. Oh yeah. It's your day. What could possibly be better? Enter to win the Esso Caribbean Triple Six Contest. How? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're on your way with Esso. Yeah, yeah. Swipe the card. Get the extras. Take these off. Put these on. It's time to take a little trip. <laughs> to a place where the water is fine. And the crab legs are steaming hot and delicious. And for a little while, they're just $12.99 a pound. Escape to Red Lobster Canada. Because life on land is dry. Whisker. A relationship like this should stay happy and healthy. So if you're concerned about your cat's urinary tract health, make sure your cat's diet has just the right balance. Whisker. Feed your cat Whiskas Perfect Balance. Unlike some dry cat food brands, Perfect Balance helps maintain an optimum balance of acid and mineral content in your adult cat's urine. And that can help maintain a healthy urinary tract. Whiskas. So help keep your cat's urinary tract healthy with Whiskas Perfect Balance. Whiskas. There's a way to combine the safety of a GIC with the growth potential of the stock market. Scotia GICs with guts. Because Nick Waterman and his sons take enough risks every time they go out on the water. It is a massive tornado. It churns a 15 square mile swath across Jefferson County, Alabama. It roars headlong into the people of the Open Door Church. Their church is completely destroyed. Yet somehow, miraculously, all 69 members are able to walk out of the rubble. Many of us, we had uh, bones broken, we had lacerations, we had bruises. Uh, people were stitched, stapled, and bandaged, and uh, put in uh, casts. But no one had a life-threatening injury. 69 people in one hallway of a devastated building with winds which were in excess of 250 miles an hour. Had to be a miracle. But not everyone has been as blessed. Across the county, 
dozens of people have been injured and buried in the rubble left by the twister. Jefferson County emergency personnel are pushed to the limit, even turning private vehicles into makeshift ambulances. We are done playing, folks. You either gonna drive a truck out here and use it or you're gonna get out of the way. She's gonna be loaded right here. But climatologist David Phillips knows this jet stream powered cluster of tornadoes isn't spent yet. I sometimes use the analogy of a bobsled run, where uh, a bobsled going down a bobsled run would be like a storm riding the, uh, the jet stream. It's an unstoppable force that's now barreling east towards suburban Atlanta, Georgia, and into the lives of two Cobb County cops just beginning their shift. I don't know, like I said last night, I tried to get in there. 14 Fryer, 15 Mag. At the 10 o'clock briefing, officers Susan Fryer and Shane Ricketts are told to be on the lookout for some robbery suspects. Uh, if you weren't here the last couple nights, it's like three nights in a row we've had armed robberies involving it. But what has them worried are reports of a killer tornado on its way to Georgia. You have a gun, you have a badge, you have, you know, things to take care of people with, but as far as a tornado, you can't do anything. Fryer and Ricketts patrol in tandem in separate vehicles. They're out for about an hour when there are clues the storm is closing in. It was raining, wind was blowing. We had the warning signals go off several times, and we knew that they were, the winds were heading our way. Funnel clouds have been spotted here, funnel clouds have been spotted there. I really didn't think it would happen happen to me. I thought I'd be the last person it happened to. I think maybe we should head for cover. Yeah, where do you think? I was thinking that the parking deck off the Powers Ferry Road would probably be the safest place. Okay, I'm right behind you. What Fryer and Ricketts don't realize is that their flight to safety instead has put them on a collision course with the Twister. I was first in line at the red light. She was right behind me. The weather got, got real severe. The wind picked up, and I mean, you just knew, beyond a shadow of a doubt, you were in a tornado. I had my foot on the brake as hard as I could push it because I, I thought I was gonna slide, slide away. I actually crouched down in the car to try to get as low as I could because I was afraid stuff was gonna come through the window. I just got so scared, I thought, you know, this is it. The car's gonna flip over and I'm gonna die. And that's when I thought, well, I'm out of here. As the tornado bears down on them, Ricketts and Fryer make a mad dash for safety, dodging crashing debris and power poles. A moment captured on Susan Fryer's dashboard camera. And that's when the power lines fell on my car. As tornado winds topple the power lines, Tens of thousands of volts of electricity shower the cruiser. Shane Ricketts is protected only by his vehicle's rubber tires, which insulate the car from the deadly charge. It's like a movie, action-packed movie. Everything's blowing up around you, like sparks everywhere. I just figured, I mean, I have to get through this. Ricketts and Fryer reach speeds of over 100 miles an hour in their effort to escape the twister. I kept looking in my rearview mirror and she was following me. I mean, I could see her blue lights through the rain. And I feel like if, if I made it through and didn't hit a car sitting in the road, then she wouldn't either, so I figured she'd be all right. When the winds finally subside, the officers double back to the spot where their flight for survival began. And when I pulled up, and came back the direction I'd just come from and seen all these cars that were turned sideways and one of them was upside down and they were covered with uh, the awning material from the Chevron gas station. It was like, well, I wonder what would have happened to me if I'd have sat here. The two immediately attend to a woman inside an overturned car. She was hanging in the car upside down. She had her seatbelt on and she was fine. And I asked her, I was like, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. The twister kills five people, 